know, human memory is a heck of a thing. We spend years of our lives cramming facts and figures into our head, but in the end, it's the stories in our hearts that stick with us. So, even though today you'll see a lot of information flying about, what we hope you take away is the story of how we roll here in ILP. Enjoy. Veronica. She comes to us from the great nation of Russia and has a rather interesting tale to tell. All right, what is your name? Uh, what is your major? What are you studying? Uh, and why did you decide to come to the University of Washington? Fascinating. Now let's meet our second protagonist, Spencer. Spencer comes from Indonesia and would also like to let you know a little about why he's here. Okay, what is your name? Namasaya uh, Spencer Gigendut Wijoyo. What are you studying? Saya uh, belajar pilotography. Why did you decide to come to UW? Pas ketika saya kecil, saya selalu ingin membangun dan mengemudikan pesawat. Dan di sini ada ada company Boeing dan saya ingin bekerja di sini. Makanya saya sekarang belajar bahasa Inggris. What do you think about the weather in Seattle? Dingin. So as Veronica and Spencer navigate their first day on campus, this might be a good time to tell you a little more about our students in general. In 2015, ILP enrolled approximately 2,000 students from 39 different countries, the top five being Saudi Arabia, Japan, China, Taiwan, and South Korea. We also recruited in 11 different countries, including Bahrain, Brazil, China, Colombia, Japan, Jordan, Kazakhstan, Kuwait, South Korea, Taiwan, and the UAE. But enough from me. It's time for the serendipitous first meeting. Excuse me. Um, do you know um, the building of uh, English? Uh, excuse me. Hi, excuse me. All right, are you guys here for the English placement test? Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, we're right inside. We're almost starting, though, so please hurry. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. those mad campus tour skills, pointing, walking backwards, I mean it's impressive. I want to be clear though that the placement test and campus tour is not the only thing we do during orientation. We cover advising, registration, strategies for success, heck we even serve people pizza. That's just a start. Now for our next bit here, early in her studies Veronica has discovered a gymnastics conference in Vancouver BC. She'd like to attend but needs to take care of some immigration business first. So, she heads to the UW Tower ahead of her trip. I'm here to help. That's part of what, and I do love coffee too. So, um, mm -hmm. so ice vente. So let me think. Um, have you been to Starbucks before? Uh, yes. So okay. there's a Starbucks just down the street. Now there's, if you like more expensive coffee, there's a frou frou place called S Slate Coffee, um, and they can help you with their, uh, with an ice vente. Bethany. Hi, Bethany. I was I was just uh, working on. Uh, Using financial information and continuing education, mm -hmm. uh, hard at work, of course, as mm -hmm. usual. Um, and, uh, and and this young lady's asking about uh, where to get a good ice vente. So, um, oh, did you tell her Slate? Slate I did is good. say Slate. Slate would be a great place. And that new place on the corner. Oh, or my favorite, the the Seattle Meowtropolitan Cafe. They've got cats. You can. It's like ten bucks to rent a cat, and you get to pet the cat. And, and the ice vente. 
Yeah, 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 for yeah. Oh, my beard barber totally just told me about this new cafe. And you can get this iced venti. Seriously, just ask for four ice cubes. It's perfect. So I'm not sure about the dog, uh, cats, dogs, you know. I, no, but it was no, 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 no. How about a pumpkin spice beard. latte? No, I'm, tell that I, I'm telling you that, that it's much edge. better to get. You go in the sleep? It no, 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 I know it's so pretentious. I'm unbelievable. Wait, wait, I've got one more coffee shop for you for for a great ice venti. Uh, uh, I venti. Oh, I twenty. Oh, well, that's just down on thirteen. Go to the front desk and they'll help you with your right Oh, thank you. All right, you're welcome. There's something about being on 13 that just warms the soul, like a nice cozy inn after a long, chilly adventure. But you know, life as an international student isn't always so warm and fuzzy. As Spencer and Veronica settle into their lives in Seattle, living in a foreign culture begins to take its toll. Things that were once easy can seem very difficult, and at times it can feel as though the very environment is conspiring against you. It's known as culture shock, and is a normal part of adjusting to an unfamiliar environment. Come to think of it, it's not all that different from the changes we've seen in IELP this past year. New faces, new places, and whole new directions and pathways presenting themselves. It takes courage, persistence, and an open mind to successfully adapt, and there's usually a setback or two along the way. But just like with culture shock, somewhere along the way, things start to change. It gets easier. You begin to work with the culture instead of fighting it. Before you know it, life is fun again, and you're as comfortable in your new home as you were in your old one. We call this the mastery phase, and it's where our heroes find themselves, preparing to showcase their rhetorical chops at the IELP Poetry Slam. Okay, everybody, I warmly welcome you to the Winter Quarter 2016 Poetry Slam. So we have two very special individuals that will be sharing some uh, choice poetry with you tonight. Uh, without further ado, let me introduce our first guest, Veronica, stepping up. Yeah. <laughs> I have been one acquainted with the night. Mm -hmm. I have walked out in rain and back in rain. I have outwalked the furthest city light and looked yep. down the saddest city lane. Mm -hmm. I have passed by the watchman on his beat yeah. and dropped my eyes, unwilling to explain. Come on now. I have stood still and stopped the sound of feet when far away an interrupted cry came over houses from another street. But not
not to call me back or say goodbye. And further still, at an unearthly height, there it is. one luminary clock against the sky yeah. proclaimed that the time was neither wrong nor right. I have been one acquainted. Yeah. Next, I'm also very, very pleased to warmly welcome the also very talented Spencer Gigi Gendut Uja. When I'm dead, okay. my dearest. Sing no sad songs for me. No. Plant thou no roses in my head, mm -hmm. nor shady cypress tree. Be the green grass above me uh -huh. with showers and dewdrops wet. Yep. And if thou wilt, remember. And if thou wilt, forget. I shall not see the shadows. I shall not feel the rain. I shall not hear the nightingale. No. Sing on as if in pain and dreaming through the twilight uh -huh. that doth not rise Come on now. or set. Yeah. Happily I may remember and happily may forget. Actually, um, the downtown program, mm -hmm. the one with the internship, mm -hmm. I went there and then they hooked me up with an internship at Boeing. That's amazing. Congratulations. Oh. Wow. What, have you, what have you been up to? Um, I actually just got hired as a trainer for the U.S. Olympic Committee. Wow. Yeah. That's great. Look how far we've come. I know. Isn't it amazing that we went to a school that has such great students and staff and instructors? You're totally right. You know what? Someone should totally make a movie about it. Now if you never left Houston, get a passport. Never left little Haiti, get a passport. If you live in South Central, get a passport. So you can see the world. One, yeah. And if you rep the five boroughs, get a passport. Yeah. One, if you're in the dirty South, get uh -huh. a passport. If you're on the west side, get a passport. Yeah. 